I'm Jillian Walter with SCM Connections, and today I'll be telling you about ABC XYZ segmentation and how it can help you prioritize your products. To start off with, ABC segmentation focuses on the relative importance based upon your segmentation measure selection. For here, you can come in and select any of the key figures that you want to base your ABC segmentation off of. Next, using a Pareto principle, you can determine your thresholds that you want each code to be selected as. So this is saying that the top 70% of your quantity will be coded as A, 20% B, and 10% C. These are just defaults, and you can go in and adjust these to your liking at any point. For XYZ segmentation, this takes the segmentation measure and determines its segmentation based upon the variation of that key figure. The thresholds are determined by the coefficient of variation, and these again are just the defaults. You can come in here and adjust these to your liking whenever you would like. Once you've determined the thresholds and percentiles you would like to segment both ABC and XYZ, you just click save and then you can head over to IBP within Excel. Open up a brand new master data workbook. And for this example, I'll be showing you how we can directly impact target service level and therefore how it can improve or change your safety stock values. So to make it simple, I will only select target service level here. And now the main part is to only select ABC code. For now, I only want to show products that are classified as A. Since these are more important, I want to change this 0.9 target service level up to 0.95. I'll go in and make sure to save my changes. With a higher target service level, this ensures that we stock out less for A products. Since they sell the most, it's a good idea for the company to have a higher target service level and therefore higher safety stock. Next, we'll go into B and change those to our liking. I want to keep this at 0.9, so that looks good. Lastly, I'll go into C. And since these are not as important, I'm going to drop these down to only 0.08. Decreasing target service level and therefore the safety stock a little bit. Make sure to save changes. And next you head over into one of your planning views. And as you can see here, None of these safety stock values are over 800. They're all well under 1,000. These are going to change based upon the target service levels that we just adjusted. So to check this out, you can go into Inventory Optimization, and you'll want to run a multi-stage optimization. Once your application job finishes, you can now go up to your plan view and refresh it. And you'll see that these recommended safety stock values will update and most likely increase. This is because these are probably classified as A codes and therefore have a higher target service level than some of the other products we sell. This is just one way that you can manipulate and update your products using the ABC XYZ segmentation coding. I only showed ABC, but you're more than welcome to go in and mess around with XYZ and see how it can help you more uniquely identify your products and prioritize your different product families.